I want to give you an idea about a prescription for superb marriage. The word best is an acronym we're going to use. It starts with B, which means blessing. Speak well of each other. You'll hear and you've heard people say, well, my old lady or my old man, you know, and there's no respect in that. I want you to bless one another. But remember, we talked about the love languages. That's how you bless one another. The E is for encouragement. There's going to be times when you're just wondering how we're going to make it. So encourage one another. And S is for sharing. S stands for talking and not keeping things inside to, to talk. Not only about now, but about the future. And then T is for touching. There are times when you're going to feel that you're all alone and all as he needs is a touch. All as she needs is a touch. And the reason is that shows how much you care for one another. And so as you pray together, as you come here to church together, as you study together, that you might understand that this marriage is really made in heaven. The vow of marriage is a privilege for you to enter into. It's a pledge of everlasting love. It's a commitment to share all life has to offer, the good times and the bad while remaining patient and understanding. Marriage remains strong when you both have unwavering faith in Jesus Christ through the trials and tribulations of everyday life together. And the faith that you have, not only in the Lord, but in, your, in each other, is going to overcome all the obstacles that you face. As you have openly declared your wish to be united in marriage, and as you have made these solemn vows before God and your family and friends, and confirmed the same by giving and receiving of rings, under the authority invested in this state, I, Murray Cluxton, Say that you are now husband and wife, and what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Now, if you're willing, you can kiss the bride now.